What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. This is Living in Grand Junction, Colorado. Today we're basically strolling along the base of the Colorado National Monument. This is Monument Drive right here in the ranger station to the east entrance to the monument is basically right up the road there is living at the base of the monument or really close to the monument overhyped i don't know let's talk about it right after this so stay tuned What is going on everybody? I'm Robert Hayes and along with my wife Christy and the rest of the team, we are the Hayes Home Group right here in gorgeous Grand Junction, Colorado. Hey, if you are brand spanking new to the channel, hit subscribe, do the bell, all that stuff so you're notified every single time we post a new video. We are helping so many people from all over the country, all over the world for that matter, move out here to Grand Junction and we absolutely love it. So if that's you, reach out any way that you know how, give us a phone call, shoot us a text, send us that email. We will always have your back with any questions that you might have and we'll always have your back when you're ready to make that move here to gorgeous Grand Junction. So as I mentioned, we're here along basically Monument Drive, Monument Road and South Camp Road, which we featured here on this channel a, a number of times. And really the question that we get a lot from clients is, hey, Robert, how do we get close to that Colorado National Monument view? So the good news is, of all the clients that we've helped get along the base of the Colorado National Monument, we've helped a ton of clients all across the valley. So, you know, if your budget's 450, 400, 350, you'll get that gorgeous monument view wherever you're driving throughout the valley. But yes, there are those clients that just wanna be right here. Specifically, Amy and Brian, we got them into this gorgeous house a couple of years back. And the reason why they wanted to be this close is, well, number one, Brian is an avid mountain biker. And you're looking at world-class mountain biking trails all throughout Western Colorado. But there's one specifically that's basically about 40 yards from Brian's garage door, <laughs> which is a big draw. They're from Galveston, Texas, and they really didn't have anything remotely close to these gorgeous surroundings in Texas. So it basically comes down to check boxes, right? What are your check boxes? What are you after? They've got a gorgeous view of the valley below there too. Grand Mesa off in the distance. Um, you know what, if your check box is, you know, we want a three bedroom, two bath. We want to have, uh, you know, a little bit of a lot size and our budget's X. We want a view, but it's, you know, number six down on the list. Guys, we don't need to be looking along the monument here. Again, from north to south, that's the furthest south, the monument. And you've got the book cliffs off to the north. You're gonna see those views wherever you're at. But if you're, you know, hey, our number one checkbox is we need a view and the most breathtaking, grandiose view that we can get. Well, yeah, we're probably gonna wind up over here, guys, here along South Camp Road or even down there by Tierrado. You can get super close, a couple hundred yards away. But yeah, I mean, if you're looking for something that's below, you know, really six, 700 grand, we're not gonna be looking down this stretch. So again, there's Brian's driveway right there. Gorgeous day today. By the way, today is, I think, January 16th. The whole dang country is in a freeze warning, ice storms. This is, this is today here in Grand Junction. So look at this. I'm gonna screw it over here real quick. Private trail. No trespassing, no public access. Brian can take that all the way to the Lunch Loops trails and head out and do some incredible mountain biking. The other draw, I suppose, why people are wanting to be not only close to the monument at the base with those gorgeous views, but just in the Redlands in general, which is only about 11,000 people, you know, you're gonna have that limited traffic. Well, we have limited traffic anyway. We really don't have traffic here in Grand Junction, but as far as being in the Redlands, you've got, you know, what? 
maybe a couple of cars going down highway 340 in the morning that's going to be your main access to and from the redlands and into downtown not every of the every person included in 11,000 people are going to be driving or commuting into the valley you know plenty of remote workers these days we do have you know probably 30 percent retirees here in grand junction a lot of those are here close to the Colorado National Monument. So yeah, limited uh, commute times, our average commute time anyway is only about 16 minutes. So school-wise, if you have kiddos, you're in good shape. Not a bad uh, view for an elementary school, right? Wingate Elementary, Christy Wynn here as a little kiddo. And then we also have Redlands Middle School in the Redlands, close to the monument. Our son Josh went there, he did great flourished through not only elementary but also the middle school so you have that limited population you have great schools if you have some kiddos and you want those absolutely gorgeous views now because this contraption that i'm holding has a wide angle lens so you can see my mug in just about every shot no matter where i spin around it just does not do justice on how gorgeous and how close that actually is as compared to what you're probably seeing right now in the video on to the next stop so back to the question is it overhyped to be this close to the monument. We're in Granite Falls right now. I thought it might be helpful just to give you, you know, some anecdotal stories from actual clients where this was their number one checkbox. We gotta be close to that sucker, that's it. No ifs, ands, or buts. How close? Well, that close. Ernie gave us a ring from New York. He wanted to know how the heck he could be close to this thing. And it really doesn't do it justice, right, when you're looking at it on a video versus in person. And that's exactly what Ernie did. He initially reached out right after I posted a video. I'll show you some footage of that. When Christy and I did a little horseback ride, sunset horseback ride, out in the Fruta area. Yes, you can get close to the monument, even in Fruta. Um, just a gorgeous horseback tour, couple of hours. Man, my legs were sore after that. Um, but I mean, just some of the footage that I got through there. He said, Robert, let's go looking in some neighborhoods that are close to that thing. So we were here in Granite Falls. He had another property in the north part of town. Still another gorgeous area. Yes, you can still see the monument. I mean, it's not right there, but you'll be able to see it. And then we came back to Granite Falls and he was standing in front of his house and I asked him a question. I don't even think he heard me. He was just doing this. He was just staring at it. Holy moly. Yeah, baby. That's what I've been waiting for. Dear God. I mean, it's that unbelievably gorgeous and he said no we're, we're, we're buying this one right here Robert so uh, again subjective sure if your check box is we want to be close we'll get you there I want to take you to one more spot just to show you how close you can actually be before we do that what are you looking at in Granite Falls price wise 900 at least to have those views and to have these custom built homes here in Granite Falls, there's one going up right there. Can you be in the uh, the corridor along the base for less than that? Maybe, um, you know, maybe in the five, sixes, it might be something that needs some updates and it'll be on the other side of Highway 340. We've had a ton of clients do that, but I'm talking, I mean, to be as close as you possibly can. And then you've got federal land basically behind your neighborhood and there's the monument. Uh, you're gonna pay a little premium for that okay so we made our way to the Tierra Rado neighborhood just west of where we were maybe five minutes away how close can you get to the monument how about that close basically as a driver in his backyard could hit the Colorado National Monument great neighborhood Tierra Rado and the cool thing about Tierra Rado is you'll see deer roaming through here all the time because you're just so darn close to the monument and there's a number of styles of properties here in Tierra Rado you've got 70s 80s 90s probably some 2000s in here as well but it's a little older neighborhood but you can get right up against 
the base of the monument. So again, guys, all subjective. The clients that wanted that view, wanted that proximity, are just absolutely ecstatic. That's what they were looking for. But guys, you're on the other side of the valley in the north part of town. You'll be 10 minutes from the base of the monument, do all the biking trails, hiking trails that your heart desires, and you know, pay 380. So it's totally up to you. But those those that are looking for being right there they didn't have a view before and this is their last destination and they've worked their entire lives to have something like that yeah it was certainly worth it to them so again guys as much as we love doing these darn videos we'd love nothing more than to absolutely crush your real estate goals and you're moving out this way so the information popping back up below reach out any way that you know how give us a phone call shoot us a text send us that email or the carrier pigeon we've got your back days nights weekends when heading out here to grand junction until the next video we'll catch you later